New tonight, the Rotterdam Junction Fire Chief, who got an invitation to the State of the Union from Congressman Paul Tonko, is now home. He says the trip was productive and could help victims of Irene. Fox 23's Tori Wells is live at the firehouse tonight. Tori, this is a great opportunity. A great opportunity for sure. Uh, Chief Sean Taylor says he was sitting right in front of the president in the guest balcony, and he said the whole experience was both powerful and impressive. But he says it's what happened outside the House chambers that could affect people right here. The president of the United States. As we watched and listened to the State of the Union from our living rooms, work or the car, Rotterdam Junction Fire Chief Sean Taylor was there. It was pretty amazing. Um, the whole place goes absolutely crazy, you know, everybody stands up, starts clapping. Taylor had hoped to hear about storm relief. Big town hit hard by Irene. There was a lot of states involved with that. I thought maybe they'd touch on that a little bit. While he was a little disappointed, President Obama didn't. He says the trip was productive, catching Congressman Paul Tonko's ear. We had quite a meeting with his staff at his office before the uh, State of the Union address, and we had talked about, you know, potential buyout programs and how it affect people that just lost everything. And Taylor says they also talked about infrastructure repairs, insurance issues and problems farmers face. The questions the community sent him with got answers as he met with 10 or so other Congress members, Democrats and Republicans. I don't think they knew that it was as bad as it was. You know, I, I, I pushed pretty hard for, you know, some situations that I felt were real problems. And not just in Rotterdam Junction, but other local areas, too. It takes a little bit off your chest knowing that, you know, you, you talk to the right people. It was a great opportunity for me, but it was a great opportunity for the towns, the fire departments, the communities, the residents that were hit hard. And the fire chief says we hear so much about bickering lawmakers not getting work done. He says he was able to walk around, see people working, and he says he was encouraged to see there was some good work underway. We are live in Rotterdam Junction tonight. Tori Wells, Fox 23 News. Tori, we saw so many special guests when we were watching the State of the Union address. Who did the chief sit with? I wanted to know that too, Anne. He said he was sitting next to a sailor, a Congress member's wife, and a Marine who lost his leg to an IED. He said speaking with that man was very powerful. I can only imagine it was. Tori Wells in Rotterdam Junction tonight. Thank you. New